Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today we are going to make these super easy, really, really fast Christmas tree ornaments. You can make them in any yarn that you have. You just need little tiny scraps to make one of these cute little stars. And they also make really great hanging tags if you want to just put them on your gifts even throughout the year. It doesn't even have to be just for Christmas. If you'd like to follow along with a written pattern, it's available over on my website, secretyarnery.com. And you don't have to worry about being able to read a pattern. All of my patterns are written in plain English, just like I was sitting there right beside you. To make this super easy Christmas star ornament, I'm just using a four worsted weight acrylic, but you could use any yarn you have at all. The trick is to use a smaller crochet hook than you normally would. With this four weight worsted acrylic, I'm using a five millimeter crochet hook. If you are using a DK weight yarn, use a four millimeter crochet hook. You will also need a pair of scissors and a needle for sewing in your ends. A sharp tip needle really helps. If you want to grab your own, there's a link to these in the description box down below. And also one stitch marker. So let's get started. So you're going to start by making a slip knot any which way you normally do. Just shrink that down and pop it onto your hook. And chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Now right into this very first chain, right on top of our slip knot, we're going to make a ring. So just pop your hook into that very first chain that we made. Now get yourself situated. We want to have a little U shape underneath our hook with our tail following along. So get that situated and hold it open with your finger and thumb and slip stitch to form a ring. I'm still holding it open and chain three. One, two, and three. If you make large chains, you can chain two. That's personal preference. Wrap your yarn and two double crochets into the center of that ring, taking care to go over your tail. So one and two. Now you can let go, your ring will stay open, and chain three. One, two, and three into the center of your ring, going over your tail, three double crochets. One, two, and three. Chain three, one, two, three. Wrap your yarn and three more double crochets into the center of that ring. One, two, and three. Chain three, one, two, three, and three more double crochets into the center of that ring. One, two, and three. So now we've done four sides, just like a granny square, but we need to do more. So we're just gonna slide those stitches back. So grab your starting chain and your last stitches and just slide them apart to give you some more room. Just working flat along the center of that ring. So chain three, one, two, three, and three double crochets into the center of that ring. I'm still working over my tail. One, two, and three. Chain three, one, two, three, and we're going to slip stitch into the top of that chain three to join. I'm going to slip stitch right there. So pop in your hook, two strands of that stitch on the top of your hook, and slip stitch to join. Chain one, and we're going to make one single crochet into that same stitch right there. You'll see this little hole. I want to go right into there and make one single crochet. So pop your hook in and one single crochet. If you are new to crochet, you can pop a stitch marker into that stitch we just made, just so we know that that is our first single crochet. Now we're going to make one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. So the next stitch starts right here, that loop at, at the front, and we also have to grab the loop at the back. So that is our next stitch right there. So grabbing that loop that's down, one single crochet, 
and one single crochet into the next stitch right there. Now into the space, three single crochets, one, two, and three, chain three, one, two, three. You can slide those stitches back a little bit if you need some more space, and three more single crochets into that same space, one, two, and three. Now into each of these three stitches, the first one is a little bit underneath our work. Our first stitch is right there, so one, two, and three, one single crochet into each. So starting with that very first stitch, one single crochet, and one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. Into our space, three single crochets, chain three, and three single crochets. So there's my three single crochets. Chain three, one, two, three. Slide those stitches back if you need some more room, and three more single crochets into that same space. One, two, and three. Now one single crochet into each stitch. Our first stitch is a little bit hiding, so make sure you find that very first stitch right underneath where we're working. So one, two, and three. One single crochet into each stitch. One, two, and three. Into our space, three single crochets, chain three, and three single crochets. So one, two, three single crochets, chain three, one, two, three, and three more single crochets into the same space. One, two, and three. Into each of the next three stitches, one single crochet into each. So starting with that very first stitch, a little bit underneath where we've been working, one, two, and three single crochets, one into each stitch. Now into our space, three single crochets, chain three, and three single crochets. So one, two, and three, chain three, one, two, three, and three more single crochets into that same corner space. One, two, and three. One single crochet into each of these stitches, starting with that very first one right by our work. Right there is our first stitch. So one single crochet into each of the next three stitches. One, two, and three. And now into the space, three single crochets, chain three, and three single crochets. So there's one, two, and three. Chain three, one, two, and three and three more single crochets into that same space. One, two, and three. Now we're back to where our stitch marker is. That just marks where we have finished going around our star. So now we can cut our yarn. We wanna leave a long tail, about 12 inches or so, depending how long you wanna make your hanging tag. So cut your yarn and pull your hook up and your yarn through. So we haven't joined, we just finished our last single crochet, cut our yarn and pulled it up. So no joining. I'm gonna show you how to do an invisible join. So now go ahead and thread your needle. I like these sharp tipped yarn needles. They really sew in your ends really, really nice. And these are linked in the description box down below if you wanna get yourself a set. And now we have our first stitch marker. That is not where we're gonna be going into our work. We're gonna be going in to the stitch right after right here. So we're skipping where our stitch marker is and we're gonna work in to the stitch right after. So I'm gonna get rid of that stitch marker now. So we're gonna work into this stitch. So just keep your eye on your second stitch 
take your needle, I'm going to be using the blunt end, and just go into that stitch underneath both loops like you normally would. Pull your yarn through. You want to keep an eye on where it's coming from. This stitch right here. See where it's coming from? You want to keep an eye on that. Don't pull it down too tight and now go right back in right where it came from. Just into that, just underneath that one loop. Bring your yarn through and now just snug it down enough so that it matches the rest of your pretty little v-stitches. Just like that. So there is our cute little join. Turn it over. Now we're going to sew in our tail a little bit. So I'm going to go back and forth right where I am. And now I'm using the sharp tip of my needle because it really, really helps. Don't pull too tight or you'll shrink down that side. And just go back and forth a little bit. Just so it has an anchor. There we go. And now we're going to do our hanging tag. So now if I pull my yarn, it's just pulling right where I did my little anchor. It's not cinching down on the side. So that is what we like. Now working our way up just underneath those stitches and out the very tip of our star. Pull your yarn up and through. Make sure we haven't pulled our star down. You want it still to be pointy at the top. So now go back down into a little bit of a different spot. Same area, but leave a little bit of yarn in between your coming and going. And I'm going to work my yarn back down the other side. Leaving a long enough loop to use for your hanging tag. Probably about that much. If you want them all to be exactly the same, use a business card or a piece of cut cardboard just to see that all of your tags are going to be the same height. And now sew in your tail. So go back up in the other direction. And you can do that again. If you have a sharp tip needle, you're probably pretty safe right now to just stop sewing in your tail. But if you have a blunt tip, three times is best. And now we can go ahead and cut our tails. So cut the tail from your hanging tag. And we worked around the tail in the center, so we can cut that one off as well. If you want your star to be a little bit pointier, you can do a pico after your chain three. I'll be showing you how to do that in the tutorial for the six-pointed star. But you could also use that same technique here if you prefer them to be super, super pointy. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did. And I'm waiting for you in that video. Stay hooked.